So I think we can all say that ChatGPT is definitely a game changer since it's only been out for a year, more even less than that, and it's proving to be quite handy for a lot of people and a lot of use cases. Some are using it for downright assistant to the day they work, while others are just bouncing ideas off of it to just get inspired. And there are those who are leveraging ChatGPT to simply feed them suggestions on business ideas. If you're looking to create your own business or even just thinking of getting started in some way, you might want to dig into ChatGPT right now. Whether you're trying to start from scratch and get a new idea itself, or you have something in mind, whatever the case might be, ChatGPT can definitely help you in terms of time, of brainstorming, and just the market research. But before I show you how you can leverage ChatGPT to do so, make sure to subscribe to the channel so we can continue to help you get started with leveraging more AI and digital tools to work and live more effectively. So we all know that coming up with innovative business ideas can be somewhat of a daunting task. And even just expanding on existing ideas can take a lot of work and time. But with ChatGPT, as I mentioned earlier, it's never been easier. Just think of ChatGPT as a knowledgeable business mentor. So let's say we were wanting to get started. To be honest, there's no special way to go about doing so. You just really need to type in what you want. A few prompts to help you get started can include something like generate a new business idea for a sustainable product. Obviously, you don't need to make it sustainable. I'm just giving you guys an example. Let us think about generate some ideas for mobile apps that solve problems for remote workers. Of course, as I mentioned in another video where I go through the basic prompt patterns of ChatGPT, which you can take a look at the right corner, specificity is key here. The more specific you are, the better context you give and the better results ChatGPT can give you. So you want to be giving things like what industry you're trying to create something for, the interests, the market trends, the region, you know, all of this information else. So let's take a look at each of these in a bit more detail with three key things to take note of. Obviously, there are hundreds of industries to choose from. If you provide information about the industry you're working in, ChatGTP will generate ideas that are more specific to the industry. So for example, let's say you want to create some sort of app for the retail industry. While you could type in something like, give me a business idea for the retail industry. Once again, be more specific. For example, I am thinking of making a web application in the retail industry for fashion. Give me a list of business ideas that I can do that would be lucrative. For this, just thinking of using a general format like I want to create slash start and then inserting what you want to make in the indicating which industry you are and then for the specific industry. To expand on this a bit more, you can even include your interest into the prompt and then nudge ChatGPT along to understand what you're really going for. So let's just try to look at the prompt again. I'm thinking of making a web application in the retail industry for fashion with a focus in sneakers. Then obviously give me a list of business ideas that I can do that would be lucrative. So this is one of just some ways to specify interest and industry. Now, when it comes to doing market research and diving into the demographic, if we want to dig a bit deeper and go into a bit of market research, it might be a good idea to validate whether or not this is right for you. Remember the standard market research process usually includes setting the right goals, developing a research plan, gathering data, analyzing the data, and then taking action. So let's say you have absolutely no idea what the demographic or target audience you're looking for is. Then you can ask ChatGPT, can you give me a general demographic of people that are interested in fashion sneakers, specifically types like the Air Force One? From here, ChatGPT will spit out some general data based on what it knows. As you can see here, however, let's say you already have a general idea of what type of target audience you like to go for then you can kind of go into it a little bit more specifically. Let's take this example. I want to start an online only dog food brand for pet parents in the age group of 26 to 35 residing in the US. I would need specific information about their demography to get started plus competitor information. Act as a market research assistant and gather all the relevant information related to 26 to 35 years old age group residing in the US. So one thing to take note of is, as I mentioned before, giving more context and specificity. So if you provide information about the current market trends and model, and then base that information to then suggest things around those growing popularities. So now that you have some context about researching on general demographic and learning more about your interests in industries, it's time to build out that user persona into a bit more detail. 
If we do base our assumptions that this is the audience we want to be going for, we can then leverage this information to then find out more about them and script out a general target audience. So, be using the information that I had built out earlier, because once again, ChatGPT learns from what you are currently writing about. You can say, create a user persona based off the target audience information you provided earlier. Expand into bullet point form about the key information on... So obviously, you don't need to follow exactly how I am, but you can add more or you can make less. It's up to you. And you can see the results. So to dig a bit deeper into the industry or even the opportunities of this business, you can then run a SWOT analysis. For those who aren't aware, SWOT stands for Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities, and Threats. So since we've already had a conversation with ChatGPT up to this point in regards to demographic or interest in industries and even target audience, now we can just kind of nudge along to understand the opportunities. So you can write a simple prompt like using the information above about my specific business. Run me a detailed SWOT analysis. I want to identify what kind of opportunities and challenges there are with this business. And then to just kind of close it off, obviously, before you jump into any business, it'd be interesting to take note of there are other competitors doing something similar. So this is where ChatGPT can help a lot by narrowing things down instead of going out into Google and trying to dig through all those disparate competitors. Identifying your competitors is one of the most important aspects of market research. So ask ChatGPT the top five competitors for your hypothetical business. So you can write something like, can you let me know five major brands in this space? Tell me some of their unique selling points as a business and what their company is mainly selling. So obviously this is great, but we can also get ChatGPT to do so much more by extracting more information about these competitors. So for example, can you provide me the information about the competitor's website URL, Instagram handle, and some key facts and figures about the brand? Now, before typing this in, you want to organize it in a way that is easily transferable into a Google Sheet of yours for your saved research. So, one way to go about doing this might be by typing in, pull all of this information into a table where first column consists of this, the second column consists of this, and you can kind of see me type it along. So once you have that, you can then press enter, and you can watch as TCPT creates a table in itself. Voila. So there you have it, a pretty quick and easy way to get started with market research using ChatGPT. In just a matter of minutes, you've learned to get some business ideas, learned some demographics, interests, industries that you want to be a part of, and even done some SWOT and competitive analysis. So I hope this does help in being able to get started with building a business. Not only does it help with the initial ideation process, but it can also expand on those ideas further as I've shown you here in this video. If you've liked this video and want to learn more about discovering more about the digital space from AI to productivity hack and tools, subscribe to the channel as I'll be continuing to put out weekly contents on similar things like this.